Tonight, we'll go behind the scenes of the popular TV talk show, Our Magazine, and meet its dynamic host, Gary Collins. Then we'll meet the man who's bringing sophisticated sports medicine to the rough and tumble rodeo. And check out a 16-year-old video wizard. Plus, Sally Francis has some fun ideas for your weekend free time. And I'm the Phantom Diner. Today, how about a trip to the Dallas Warehouse District for a little lunch? Plus, if you're planning on spending any time out on the courts this summer... Well, we're going to give you some tips from the tennis pro at the Fair Oaks Tennis Center. Stay with us. Ace. You know, when it comes to tennis, most of us are just bushers and hackers. When it comes to video games, oh, you might call us pushers and punchers. But we met a kid the other day who refers to himself as a vidiot. Ben Gold is a 16-year-old high school sophomore at Green Hill School in Dallas. He's a nice, normal kid who happens to be very good in mathematics, plays on his high school baseball team, and plays video games. He plays video games some more, and some more. In fact, he's a champion video player who holds the world's record for the highest score on Stargate. It took him some 35 hours and 50 minutes to accumulate 40,001,150 points when he set the record in September. You gotta, you gotta figure them out. Or, you know, you don't just sit there and play and play and play. You gotta use your mind and try to figure out how to beat them. You know, what's the machine's weakness? Because every machine has a weakness. Ben has been a video game freak for the last four years. It all started with Pong, and then moved upwards from there. Even though he has an Atari set up in his bedroom, he's grown bored with the cartridge games that are commercially available for home use, because they don't challenge him. The games that do challenge him, however, are found in video arcades, which can get expensive. It's usually like when I first begin a game, you know, you might spend 20, 30 hours a week playing it, then as you get better at it, you spend less and less until maybe you only spend a quarter a day. A quarter a day for games, maybe. But Benny has also traveled all over the country as a video game celebrity and has kept in touch with friends in the international video game community. All of this, mind you, at his own expense. See, I've got everything figured out that that when you take the game, the actual games that I played or when I, you know, from when I first started playing, all the plane tickets and everything, and my long distance phone bill, which is very horrendous now. Um, to break even, you know, I would need probably to make $5,000, which I think I can do. But even if he doesn't make all that money back, Ben Gold has achieved a certain celebrity status. He holds world's records on video games, and he was also seen on national television last January. In fact, Ben competed against two of the top video game aces in the country on That's Incredible. And he won. And that seems appropriate for a guy that lays awake nights thinking video strategy. You know, sometimes some of my best strategies come when I'm at night in bed and just thinking, and then I'm saying to myself, God, you know, what, what's my problem? And then I'll come up with some great strategy, and I'll try it the next day, and, you know, and maybe that's the secret. Now, if you're wondering what a video wizard can possibly do with his skills, Ben has an answer. There's going to be professional video game players. People are going to start making money off of them. And you want to be there? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna. I want to be in the middle of it. 